Hello Pisces, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is your January 2020 monthly tarot reading for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. I hope you're well Pisces. So I'm just pulling one overarching energy, one overarching card to see what the message is for the month. Then we'll look at four general energies Pisces. Then with a separate deck we will look at love and romance and money and career though i have to say spirit angels guides have sometimes wanted just to focus on specific messages so we'll see what we get certainly that's what happened with a, a couple of readings this month okay i'm just going to do one more give it a good shuffle you have been pre-shuffled as well but it's when it feels right, that's when I do it. Okay. Okay, Angel Spirits Guides, what is the message for Pisces, please? Message for Pisces. January 2020, what's the overarching message for Pisces, please? Thank you. That flew out, didn't it? Okay. Pisces, we have the Five of Cups here. Now, the Five of Cups is somebody who is looking at what's gone rather than what is in front of them now. They're looking in the past rather than the present. I don't mind the Five of Cups energy, you know, because it is that wonderful journey from past to present to moving forward in a situation. Because that's what you're being asked to do now. You're being asked to move on when this card appears. This is just energy that you need to allow yourself to move on from now. The, the river of running through this card is all about flow. It is all about allowing yourself to move forward emotionally. Water and tarot can represent our emotions and feelings. This is just moving on from whether, whatever you're looking back at. Um, whether this is lost jobs, uh, lost relationships. This can also be about regrets as well, regrets of what's gone on in the past. Um, mourning how something turned out, but you see the liquid in these three cups has spilt on the floor. There's no putting that liquid back in that cup. those cups. It's gone. There's a finality to it. It is about engaging with these two cups that are full. So you're moving from something that is empty, that promises nothing, to something that is full in the present. There's potential of opportunity, potential to be happy, potential to find balance again in your life. Um, all of this kind of energy, it is about engaging with the present in order to find flow, in order to move forward now. And the fives are very instable. Insta uh, fives generally talk about instability in tarot. They sometimes signify change needs to happen now. Um, when you get to that point where you might have mourned something for a period of time or regretted or uh, longed for something, this is saying this, now is the time, when it comes up in tarot, now is the time to allow yourself to move forward, not look back. Interesting Pisces. Okay, Angel Spirits Guides, what is the general energy? What's the first general energy of the month? Wow. <laughs> it certainly is time to look forward because look at this, we've got the Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> Love that energy. This is just happy energy as well with Jupiter, you know? It is just that fun-loving, happy, breath of fresh air energy that Jupiter brings in. It's beautiful. Okay. Yeah, Knight of Swords. Big shifts. I just heard that for Aquarius, actually, the Knight of Swords. We have the Eight of Pentacles. And the Queen of Pentacles, love it. Very positive cards. 
interesting to go with this. There's opportunity ahead of you. You have to be open to receive now. That's what the spirit is saying. Spirit Angels Guides. Okay, Pisces, so let's look at love and romance. What did I say? Interesting. I did say when the magician appears, it's time. Okay, we have the Eight of Swords here. What else do we have in Love and Romance, please? Thank you. Yeah, we have the world. And we have the King of so King of Wands, sorry. Okay. Money and Career Pisces. Angel Spirits Guides. What do we have for money and career for Pisces, please? Money and career for Pisces for January 2020, please. Okay, we have the Queen of Swords. We have the Four of Pentacles. I'm going to pull one more, Pisces. Normally I choose them, but I'm I'm feeling I want to shuffle. Thank you. Two cards have popped out. Yeah. Embrace the new. It's time. I don't know if they are specifically focusing on money and career, but hey, let's see what we get. Okay. I definitely feel there's a lot of money and career in this area because the Wheel of Fortune is linked to wealth prosperity, uh, material success, as is the world actually, sometimes, okay, so Archangels, what is the message for Pisces please, okay, yeah, you are safe, Archangel Michael. I am protecting you against lower energies and guarding you, your loved ones, and home. This is where there could be that fear or doubt or insecurities cropping up. You know, this is a really unsettling energy. And you're being told that you're in a better place than you realize. It is time to take action to bring positive change in your life and I think that's why the King of Wands is here because the time is now you know we have the Wheel of Fortune this is about positive shift good things around you um, I'm going to pull a reading card Pisces Okay, Angel Spirits Guides, what is the message for Pisces, please, for January 2020? Oh, that's beautiful. The kindness. I do feel for some of you, you're being shown... Blessings by the universe. We have the Wheel of Fortune. We have the Star as well. This is also sometimes doing things from the heart. Opening your heart as well to receive. Because you're being offered a gift. You're being offered um, positive change now for some of you. The Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favour. So I think it is about moving from 
the past to the present, moving on from what's gone to accepting whatever kindness that has been coming your way. I'm going to pull one more. Any other message, please, Pisces? Any other message, please, for Pisces? January 2020. Thank you. Yeah, I think we have victimhood, Pisces. Obviously, I don't particularly like the word victimhood, but it is where you allow negativity to own you. That is the kind of meaning of that in a way, and that can be this energy. It stops you from moving on, and I do feel for some of you now is the time to embrace the gifts, um, be open to receive all of that kind of energy. <laughs> okay, finally, Pisces, I'm going to pull a spirit message card and then we'll get into the reading. So, Angel, okay. Serenity. The most important relationship you can have is with yourself. This is a time to honour, nurture and love yourself more by seeking out and removing any negative feelings and emotions that are left over from yesterday. Don't let past issues and resentments interfere with your serenity today. Yeah. And this is that time when you're coming to terms with that, I feel. Because change is afoot. The Knight of Swords can be about change the nights are about change um, change happening progress happening things shifting up a gear moving forward refocusing on the path in front of you to bring positive change it might well be linked to a decision or choice or an idea that you have um, a goal that you want to achieve uh, something that you want to work towards this is where when you allow yourself to engage with the present and go for what you want that it becomes achievable sometimes I feel this is about getting back on, getting back in the saddle, getting back in the driving of your life again. I do feel that with the Knight of Swords as well, taking control, um, beginning to see everything clearly, Pisces, where maybe you didn't see things clearly in this emotional energy. Our emotions can cloud our judgment sometimes, and I do feel everything is becoming clear, and you understand exactly how to move forward. Definitely feel that for some of you. And it is because there are good things happening in your life now, or have the potential to. The Wheel of Fortune links to potential that's around you. Certainly in terms of money and career in particular, this is a really positive card, Pisces. If you have struggled at work or are regretting what's going on in your money or your finances or to do with your home, your property, your career, all of that kind of energy, this is a big shift big positive shift where good things can change in your life now good things can shift in your life um, because it's all divinely orchestrated it is things happening when they're meant to happen at the right time it was always meant to be this way and I do feel for some of you now is the time to really understand to open up to expansion and growth of that Jupiterian energy is bringing into you can also be allowing yourself to look on the bright side um, however difficult it is that fun loving energy that Jupiterian energy if it was a person it would be somebody that's larger than life yeah uh, very good fun and I do feel for some of you now is the time to connect to that energy to be open to receive to we will go into the cards but we have pentacles energy here Put in the effort, use your practical skills, knowledge and experience to bring real growth into your life. Certainly where money and career are concerned, this is very positive. So, powerful energy. And I, I do feel, you know, I'm seeing this, I'm seeing the world card as well, and your love and, love and romance um, connections well, but I do think these cards are overlapping. I feel you're working towards something that completes you. Something where you've experienced loss and you want to feel that fe feeling of completion and um, feeling whole again 
that's what for me the circles are representing interesting that I've got that message okay Pisces the eight of pentacles we have it is time to focus it is time to be practical it's time to ground yourself certainly in terms of money and career this is saying that where opportunity might present itself it is focusing on your own practical skills and experience to bring real success into your life this is change positive change on the finance front on the money front by doing something that you enjoy now this is doing a career that is aligned to your inner world to your inner self because this is a card of Virgo um, this is the Sun in Virgo so certainly in terms of career you have that cosmic boost that this energy brings to really bring positive change you see it's interesting that I've said the cosmic boost because that does link with the wheel of fortune um, and that's what the Sun energy brings it is that divine energy that boost that that energy for growth um, of being productive extra productive now in money and career to bring positive change in your life greater security and stability but also a greater sense of self-worth self-esteem getting to that place working hard to that getting to that place that you want to be recognized by other people and um, for the work that you do and valued and paid accordingly this is all that energy and the Queen of Pentacles could be somebody who is giving you an opportunity to do just that. This could be an opportunity in money career for some of you. So powerful energy, powerful energy Pisces. And this person, yeah, I do feel this person isn't just. You see how they carve that pentacle onto that, so that star onto that pentacle. They are not just creating greater money, greater security in their life. They are slowly shaping and chiseling away their life for the better at an area of their life they want to bring positive change to. So sometimes this can be about bringing greater value into your life. Um, can be even valued connections because this could be somebody who brings greater value into your life. I feel for some of you this is a great money and career card but it is a bigger card of now taking the steps that you need to take to really shape your life for the better. Chisel away at it. Do the work that's necessary. Now I'm going to say <laughs> money and career. We have Capricorn. We have Jupiter. Jupiter went into Capricorn, the sign of Capricorn on the 2nd of December and will be there until the 19th of December 2020. This is a time for expansion, growth, raising, pushing the ceiling, um, breaking through barriers, um, bringing success, good fortune, good luck into your life. That is what that Jupiterian energy wants to do, certainly in terms of your money and career aspect. But we have that Capricorn energy, which is all about focus. It is all about boundaries. It is all about limitations. Setting realistic goals to work within that are achievable for you now. And I do feel for some of you, this is part to do with that. This is about slowly working towards achievable goals to bring real material success into your life. Greater security, greater self-esteem. There could be things to do with status, your own status, and titles, responsibility, all of this kind of thing too. So I do feel for some of you, there is opportunity that will set you up for the long term to do this Pisces. But it is about not heading the cloud stuff not not wishing beyond what is feasible it is about feasible goals now to work towards setting intentions and doing the work that you need to do to really bring in success into your life because the queen of pentacles at capricorn energy is saying what now's the time to see what you're made of how you can shape your life for the better and this is that time to show what you're made of, to focus on where you want to work towards now, where you want to be. 
because there is real opportunity around you to further yourself, to bring success into your life. She is surrounded by abundance and she says to you, now is the time to focus on that. Um, because like, like her, you have all the practical skills and experience you need to bring success into your life. So now's the time to take action. She has a shadow side as well, Capric she has a, uh, the Capricorn energy has a, a shadow side. The devil, it is about not feeling small. And look, we have the devil on your shoulder in your money and career aspect here. This is the four of pentacles. An energy that keeps you stuck, that fear, that doubt of uncertainty, that stops you from moving forward, keeps you in a level of comfort but not progression. I feel for some of you now is absolutely the time to take action because the Queen of Pentacles is a sign of success of her suit. A time of being grounded, focused, employing her practical skills, her know-how, her experience, her knowledge to bring greater solidity, security to her life. Beautiful energies. Like I said, it could be an opportunity as well presented to you. I'm going to go over here, Pisces, because I started here. Don't allow that devil on your shoulder. Like I said, this is Capricorn energy. It stops you from moving forward. Don't allow that devil on your shoulder to stop you from moving forward now. Keep you in a place of stagnation. Because it is about being clear in where you're moving towards. I do feel that for some of you. The, the Queen of Swords is a card of clarity, of truth. It is time to understand seeing yourself as a creator of your life rather than a participator because the empress energy is about embracing the new but she is a co-creator of her life she makes it happen she is the very beginnings the seeds the birth of an idea the birth of new jobs new careers new business ventures and um, new ways of making money new investments and um, can also be linked to new relationships as well pisces so it can overlap with these energies here i feel for some of you now is the time to embrace the new because there's real promise around you now don't listen to that devil on your shoulder it is a time to find the path forward, to understand where you're working towards, getting clarity of the path before you. This is the star card, the visionary card, connecting to your true self. And moving forward, but this is also a blessing from the universe. So I do feel for some of you, you're being guided, you're being given direction on moving forward, maybe healing from whatever's gone on here, um, now is the time to have new hope. This is a time for new growth. This is a time for really connecting to who you are, restoring your own self-identity, but very much working towards shining like that yellow star amongst all the yellow, all the white ones, I should say, um, in your own unique light. The star is about dare to dream, having goals. Because I feel for some of you, it is not a time to allow mental negativity to keep you stuck. This is where I do say our, our mind is our best friend or our worst enemy. Whatever this is, Pisces, it can own you. It can be that devil on your shoulder. It can stop you from moving forward. And now is the time to see the truth of the situation, which is why I do feel the Queen of Swords is here. To restore balance, equilibrium in your life. This is a card of Libra. Could be a Libra or an Aquarius is influential in your life. And move on from whatever this energy is. Because an eight is still about change. And I do feel for some of you there is positive change ahead now. And it's taking action towards that. There's a chance of a there's a, there's a chance of goal attainment here. Like I said, I do feel for some of you long term goals, um, setting up long term goals now, making clear decisions, choices of what you're working towards. Because certainly in terms of money and career, there is worldly success here ahead for some of you, and there's progress to be made along the way. So I feel it is about turning. A negative into a positive working through it focusing 
changing your inner energy, the Virgo card, our inner alignment. Because there is success here. Now is the time to take action. Bring closure to situations that need to end as well. That can be the world card too. In order to move forward in your own light. But this is very much a time to take action. Focus on the path forward. Let your passions guide you. Stand on your own two feet again. Um, I'm definitely feeling this with this energy. Because this is about getting passions reignited. This is somebody who follows and fulfills their passions. This is somebody who is burnt by them in a way. Um, it can be, certainly with relationships or um, can even be lost careers as well, um, lost jobs, that type of thing. This is about being the opportunist, taking the lead in your life now and just going for it. Now this can also be an opportunity that's being presented to you. Um, could be in career, could be to do with your passions. This is a card of Leo. But I feel for some of you, the cards are connected, Pisces. And that is the message for you. Now is the time to embrace the new because you're being asked to dare to dream, dare to think big, certainly with that Jupiter energy, but think within what is feasible, what is achievable, and then take action towards it because there's blessings here. This is the Divine Wish Fulfillment card. I'm going to pull one more, one fairy card for you to finish off the reading. Okay, Angel Spirits Guides, what do we have for Pisces, please? Our lovely Pisces, thank you. Inspiration, be prepared as you'll so soon receive a visit from the fairy of inspiration come dusk or dawn she can call at any time yeah and i do feel for some of you it is about taking action feeling inspired following your passions we also have protect your dreams so that's what that's what i said dare to dream you are the guardian of your precious dreams and they are safe in your care keep them close to your heart until you're ready to release them or achieve them because this is about being dared to dream, being daring to set those realistic goals, daring to have a vision, daring to have a goal that you're working towards now, and moving on from whatever this energy was, the Five of Cups. This is a beautiful reading, Pisces. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share, and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you, and I will see you next time. Thank you.